We went to the first field today, but we don't have a location yet. No remains were found, but we found some of the details. Now we will see it. One, two, three, four. This is a nice find. These are spare parts from the scabbard. It's almost a complete set. The Soviet steel of the NKVD. We are now on the field and we have a memory watch. It's 2019. The guys found the remains of a soldier and we also found a soldier in a helmet. We can see the humerus and it's badly damaged. And we also see a fragment of the elbow joint. Here's the elbow part. And there is also a signal detected further on. Maybe there is a soldier there too. We will show you. The team has already found more than five soldiers. So I can say that the memory watch started successfully. Although we worked all day in two fields and found nothing. But you need to check everything and make sure that there are no soldiers on this field. So we move to another field and we have a result. A pencil was found on the surface of the earth. It is made from a detonator for an RGD-33 grenade. The result is a chemical blue pencil. Here is such an interesting subject. Take this and look at it. I agree that it is now a museum piece. Beautiful thing. The soldier tried very hard to make this pencil. And it didn't even explode, that's right. Did you find the vertebrae? Most likely the soldiers will turn in that direction. The soldier is practically lying on the surface. We need to expand this location and look in which direction to work. It turned out that we have not one soldier lying here but two. Here is another soldier and his pelvis, and here is his leg which is twisted and raised up. And there is the humerus with the elbow joint. A soldier who is wearing a hard hat is lying without shoes. There are Lexi works with a soldier, and in the other direction we have a horse and also there are German shell cases. Doggy, come to me. I want to pet you. Everyone wants us to stroke you. I'll stroke you again. We will now expand the location. We found about six soldiers. These are Red Army soldiers. On this side lies a helmeted soldier. And all the other soldiers are very crippled. There is also a fragment of a belt and a spoon and bullets to the Nagan. And here is one soldier folded in half and on top of the second. And Elsa in the side of Nikita. One of the soldiers has a watch. The watch is in his pocket. The clock stopped at two o'clock. The clock stopped working at two o'clock. Did you find something interesting? A small teaspoon was found. It burst at the edge. Yes, this is an aluminum German spoon fork. Overcoat buttons. Most likely the soldier was wearing a cap. 
we see elements of the cap. Two soldiers are here and another is at hand. Soldiers were swamped. The memory watch continues and before us is our first dig. We have already shown you how it all started. And now at the end of the work we can tell what items were found in the soldiers such as documents and personal identification marks and personal items that the soldiers had. Such as spoons, combs, mirrors. Soldier number one who is here. He has a cap on his head and we can see fragments of it. And there are stripes on the inside of the cap. It's possible the officer. Regarding personal items we found only fragments of the cap. As well as in his pocket or bag it is difficult to understand he had cartridges for the Mosin rifle system. He also has newspapers and we found a button from his overcoat. And the soldier who is nearby most likely had a side cap. This asterisk is still there. The soldier also has a belt. And the soldier's body is located along. Most likely a soldier without shoes. The soldier's boots were missing but a spoon was found among the rest. This is an aluminum spoon and it is possible that it is signed. When the remains are removed we will definitely examine these items. We also found a comb. It's patterned and there's something written on it. Read what it says. It is very interesting. There is a second soldier nearby. Here's a soldier's head. He has a pencil. Then some paper documents were found. The documents are here. And a lot of small coins. Although the papers may be letters. There are also pouches for the Mosin rifle system. And on this side the soldier has a spoon. This spoon is small in size. This is a teaspoon. There is also a trophy spoon fork. The soldier's head is crushed. There is also a trouser belt and an infantry soldier's belt. An individual package was found on this side. We move on to the other three soldiers. The soldier's head is completely smashed. In the area of the head is a German ramrod link. Skull fragment. He also has a belt but no personal belongings were found. We are very saddened by this but we hope that personal identification marks and items will be found during the exhumation of the bodies. He had a detonator in his pocket. This is a detonator for our GD-33. One soldier had a helmet. Thanks to the helmet we found all the other soldiers. The helmet became the main sound signal when searching. Thanks to this soldier we were able to find all the other soldiers. One of the soldiers who is built in half and is not very tall. He's also without shoes. He has a spoon. In his pocket he has bullets to the Nagan system. And also in his pocket are these watches. The dial of the watch is deteriorated. This is a wrist watch. The watch was in the soldier's pocket. 
And also German bullets are scattered around the trench. Most likely it was a German line of defense and our soldiers tried to break through. In 1942 in Barvenkovsky I got all our soldiers captured German positions and they hid in any place where there is a defense from which to launch an assault to break through the German military units. We'll show you all these soldiers. We worked with the team for a very long time. We worked on this dig for a day. The ground is very tight. I would also like to note that there is a German M24 grenade. The grenade is lying behind the soldier. The grenade's cap was unscrewed. Apparently they were ready to use it. Perhaps it was prepared by a German or perhaps our soldiers. In principle this is all. Let's hope we find some personal identification marks. We found a lot of Lend-Lease items. These are English and American things. Shoes and first aid kits were found. These soldiers. And there are still a lot of them on this field. Sergei, I welcome you. We say hello to everyone. We continue our memory watch. The guys have already found a lot of soldiers. A lot of people work and this makes me happy. The entire Union people's memory is assembled. It is very important that good people are always around. Here is a soldier of the Soviet army. He has bullets on him. Apparently the soldier was thrown into the funnel. There are a lot of splinters and the soldier has only his right leg left. Then a pocket knife. And the most annoying thing is we found a personal identification mark but it's damaged. The lid is broken off and the paper is rotten. No form. There's a mirror in his pocket. Button from underwear. And also there are fragments along the entire body. And an asterisk. Here's a button like this. And some interesting glass jar. Next we have a fragment from the Mosin rifle. That's all for now. Another dig in which we found the remains of soldiers. Soldiers were shot in this hole. There are four Red Army soldiers lying here. One of the soldiers in one boot. Belt. Magazine pouch for rifle. The soldier's head is broken. Another soldier but his head is intact. He is also lying face down. Apparently the hand was repulsed and a tourniquet was made with the help of a belt. The next soldier also has serious head injuries. In the left pocket is a mirror. Behind him are bundles of bullets. Shell casings from NP. Most likely, soldiers were shot here, right in the pit. This is the fourth location and there are four soldiers of the Red Army. We assume that they were either dumped here or already shot on the spot. The soldiers had serious damage from the shells. We found huge fragments. One soldier has a broken leg in the groin area. On the left side of the thigh is broken. A huge fragment was found in the groin area. Near the fighter there was a medical tourniquet. The belt was only on his trousers. And the combat belts are completely missing with pouches. The first soldier in only one officer's boot. He doesn't have a belt either. This is the shoe with the horse show. The belt is missing but one remains only on the pants. There is no main belt. In the pockets on both sides of the soldier has these two candles. And used cartridges from the German MP. 
эмпехи. There is a lot of this here. He has a pouch under his right shoulder. This soldier has no more items. We very much hope that under the bottom we will find a personal identification mark. The left side of the skull is completely broken. You can see the impact from this side. As for the second soldier, the soldier is also face down. There are also spent casings. Short with MP. And he had the top glass of his watch. But the clock itself was not there. We only found a fragment of the watch band. The soldier's belt is also missing. No personal identification mark has been found at this time. The third soldier is at the bottom. Most likely he was the first to arrive at this location. He has a coin in his pocket. Three kopecks. The skull also has damage on the left side. There is also pelvic damage, most likely due to the fragmental impact. He also had no other items with him. The fourth soldier is very young, his bones have not yet healed. Everything is very fragile. Although it is noticeable that the guy is athletic. He had an incense like this. It could have been a photograph or a brooch shaped incense. This is divided into two parts. Got a leg on the back. Then, overcoat buttons and underwear buttons. And a mirror. The rest of the mirror was in his pocket. And the belt. As I remember the belt was in the area of the hand, it just fell. The soldier's arm is completely missing. The elbow joint and radius are also missing. Here was the belt. Perhaps the arm was bandaged, like a tonique. And such large fragments are located next to the soldier. The fragments lie in the area of the abdomen and pelvis. And in the right pocket he has a huge number of clips for a Mosin system rifle. About 10 clips. The third and fourth soldiers in the shoe. The second soldier has no shoes and the first soldier has only one shoe. We have another location. There are also supposed to be six soldiers here. This is the third day of the memory watch. Near Barvenkavo. We have six Red Army soldiers in front of us. A lot of military units got into the Barvenkovsky cauldron. And most of them could not get out of this cauldron. So the bodies of the dead were dumped in the pits. There is a pouch on the SVT. There is also a case for binoculars a trunk. The fighter has detonators. There is also a lens from binoculars. On this side a helmeted soldier lies under the feet of another soldier. Unfortunately the personal identification mark was opened. We also found guns in the buttonholes. Most likely it's artillery. To sum up we have the third location in which there are six soldiers of the Red Army. Among them there are fragments of equipment from the period of 1942. This is the way out of the Barvenkov cauldron. There is a huge number of losses on the part of the Red Army. So every pit is filled with people. Almost every signal is a human life. We have six fallen soldiers in front of us and we will take a closer look at them. Consider this location and items that are available with soldiers. Unfortunately one personal identification mark was opened. Perhaps we can find a personal identification mark under someone else. And so before us is soldier number one. Now we will show you in full. Here lies soldier number one. Here is his head and on top lies a pouch with SVT 3840. Then there is an RGD 33 grenade with a shirt. And two of this detonator to the grenade. Accordingly, the soldier has a fabric and paper. Perhaps there may be documents along with cartridges mixed in. All this is in the soldier's pocket. This soldier is lying under soldier number two. 
Soldier number two also has significant damage. His arm is injured. Under the soldier it is difficult to show something but from personal items such an ampoule was found. It was probably filled with some medical supplies. Cartridges for the Mosin system rifle. Swivels with pouches. Overcoat hooks. Swivels with trousers breeches. And soldier number three with a broken head. There is also a binocular case in the left hand area. And there is also a lens from binoculars. Unfortunately the binoculars are missing. Soldiers wear appearance shoes. Mostly we find soldiers in boots but in the Barvenkov cauldron all the soldiers are shot in high boots. Further under the bottom is a grenade. This is an anti-tank grenade. Soldiers lie on top of each other. Here is the first body. Here is the second body. These are pouches for the Mosin system rifle and they are empty. This is a cartridge for a PPSH machine gun or a TT pistol. And the soldier has a spoon in his boot. As for personal belongings, one of the soldiers is coins in his pocket. In his pocket was an unbuttoned wallet. Most likely the soldier was checked. And the helmet in the head under the helmet. Under the feet of soldier number two there is a helmet with the head of another soldier. And the most interesting thing is that we probably have one officer. And this is our artillery. As you can see there are two guns here. These are his buttonholes. This is a greatcoat and this is the same personal identification mark that was left open. And a gas mask. On the other side, yes. Here are the faces of those soldiers who died here in 1942 and were abandoned on the battlefield. Then they were pulled by civilians into pits under the direction of German units. I'm showing you the general picture of the situation of the soldiers, so you can all see. There are six fates here. And here are the guys who worked. Thank you guys very much for this work. Everyone had already left and we stayed on the field. We will work out the location. We are finishing the location. We will have a hard day tomorrow and we will continue working. We are waiting for several locations at once. In one of them is a horse. One of our search engines found it. The sun is already setting and we say goodbye to you. Получается, мы звонили на каску немецкую. Четыре красноармейца, одного. Документы и медиаторы там были на балалайку. Сапогнет был босс.